There could be the danger, my dear brothers and sisters, of us listening to our head more than listening to what our heart is saying. And I'm glad Joseph listened more to his heart than to his head. Because we might want to do the right thing, which is obvious in every situation, but beyond the right thing is what we should do out of love. And that is where the heart comes in. Pope Francis has declared this as the year of Saint Joseph. And it's very touching and amazing to see in some of our churches, huge statues on display right through this year of the sleeping Saint Joseph. Not a very, very common sight. But it's beautiful because I think most of his inspiration came in that particular state when the angel would appear to him and speak to him and communicate God's mind. And here was our silent Joseph always being obedient to whatever instructions he received from the angel. From Joseph we can learn quite a few lessons. One of them most importantly is to silently listen to God and to obey his word. Perhaps we have our own agendas. Maybe we have things that would be contrary to what God is saying. But at the end of it, we must listen and be obedient to God's word. The second is to be silent. We don't really have a single spoken word of Joseph in the Gospels. But yet we know silently he did what he had to do. And therefore, Joseph was never really in the limelight at any point of time. Perhaps we need to control our own tongues. Maybe we need to also control the fact that we want to be always being acknowledged and given prominence. And thirdly, Joseph was always in the background, never really taking a prominent place. My dear brothers and sisters, as we celebrate this beautiful year of St. Joseph, let's pick up from time to time some of the beautiful qualities that we find in this simple and humble man. And maybe each one of us can also be a Joseph to God and to those around us. God bless and do have a Jesus-filled day.